Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at Win Anti Ransom Plus. Now, Brett from uh, Win Anti Ransom Plus has kindly given me a license to show you guys the power of this tool in action. And uh, I already knew that this tool is a very powerful tool, and because whitelisting is a very powerful way of blocking ransomware uh, and also malware. And uh, I think. Uh, this system, the way we've got it up here, it's a very u easy user interface to look at. We've got these uh, whitelist with the little pull sliders across like this, as you can see here. You've also got the block. You can right click and use your uh, block here so you can block things like so. And you can also unblock them. You've got these buttons up the top here as well to remove data. You've got your virus total. And the way that works is basically you click on something and then you click on virus total this will then open up a window and so on will connect to uh, virus total you can rescan at virus total and it will give you the information here so what we're going to do here you can add in your programs and your folders and your details uh, here for for the ones that you click on so if you're going to click on stuff here it will give you details so for argument's sake if we click on this it will give you details of this very nice uh, it gives you the signature and also the information here very very uh, good for collecting information here you can see this file is not signed and we still uh, got a load of information down the bottom here the MD5 and stuff like that so you can see there's uh, the product version modified date created is it allowed allowed and it tells you uh, stuff allowing 100% and blocking 0% so as you can see here, it gives you a lot of information. So what we're going to do is give this a blast. Now I am in, as I said, the registered mode here and the license has been verified. Thank you, Brett, very much uh, for extending that license so I can do some more tests. And uh, also, uh, this has been the only chance I've got to uh, actually do some more tests with Win Anti Ransom, And I wanted to do another test with it and give it a fair crack of the whip. So you can see we have a protective registry here as well. And uh, maybe we'll cover some of these bits because I'm starting to ramble. We'll cover some of these bits in maybe a review of this software as well. If that's what you want to see, let me know in the comments section below uh, whether you want to see a full review of this uh, software as well. But you'll basically get a review as I start testing it. So we've got to check for updates here and some other bits and pieces. So let's get started on this one then. Um, so I've got the ransomware on my system. When uh, We've got the uh, Windows Defender turned off. And uh, first off, we're going to start with, uh, let's start, start on this side here, the torrent lockers. So let me just open this up here and see if we can get these all nicely set out. Uh, I'm going to quickly fire up Process Explorer. There we go. I'm just going to quickly put these into a line here so you can see them working. And uh, there we go. So we've got a nice little array here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, set these off so I'm going to click on this and you'll see this is the preemptive strike you can see here this is this place here you can see preemptive strike here it's blocked it by not adding it to the whitelist it's given me that choice to say whether I want to allow it onto the system and allow it to run which we don't want to do because it's malicious uh, and we want to click OK and that means that's going to block this file and not whitelist it now what that does is that gives us the power to right click and then block this here so we don't accidentally um, uh, click on this and uh, what that means is now we can check the details of this file and you can see here a chess and it doesn't look like a chess so you can get some more information just by looking at the details area of this here so also this file is not signed this is not a Windows protected file and uh, also, if you wanted to, you could use the virus total uh, to get more information if you wanted to. And this will open up here, and then you can uh, go through and rescan. I'm trying to get this to work here. Seems to be having a bit of an issue uh, with it here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And if I'm ever doing anything wrong, don't be frightened to let me know in the comments section below and uh, give me some more feedback and information. That'd be uh, much appreciated. Uh, but as you can see here, um, this would normally give you the information for the uh, virus total. 
Anyway, so let's move on. So now we've got this one blocked and it hasn't uh, been allowed to get on the system. You can see if we look at the preemptive area, you can see it's been listed here also. So I'm going to go back to the programs area and we're going to try um, one more here on the torrent lockers. You can again see the preemptive strike block. I'm going to continue to block these. Now what I like to do here is I'm just going to see this grayed out one here. I don't want to accidentally uh, whitelist it. Uh, whitelist this here so I'm just going to quickly block this and this lets me know when to delete uh, delete these from here because I can actually remove the data and it will remove it from the list uh, like so so if I wanted to remove this data I could do just like that you can see there's nothing running down here keep an eye out for the process as well because you'll see them sometimes just temporarily go on here and then preemptive uh, actions jumps in and gives you the decision so anyway, so we've got we've done a couple of these. Let me just um, remove this data. So we're back to where we need to be. Let's try the good old Tesla crypt. And uh, now this site has uh, said that it blocks Tesla crypts, and uh, I I don't doubt it for a minute because I've seen uh, videos of it blocking Tesla crypt. But you know we'll give it our own tests, and I like to do my own test and my own uh, stuff here. So we're going to click on some of these, and you can see straight away. This is how it should be working, should be getting the preemptive strike block, and this is what should be coming up. And uh, this is on Windows 10, we're going to click OK here, and you can see that file right there. Now we never ever want to, uh, I'll leave these blocked here so we can see. I'm just going to do a couple of more of these Tesla crypts here. And I think the mouse button on mine is going, uh, because it's not, there, there we go. So you can see now, I'm going to click OK and leave that blocked. And this is this one here. So I'm going to continue blocking that. So there are your Tesla crypts. Uh, you can see here, pretty much they're all the same. It will block them with no problem. Again, what we're going to do here is block this. And it will just show you uh, which ones are what. And again, you've got the uh, details here. You can uh, look at the details for stuff and it gives you some details. And you can see now, look, description. Look at that description. I mean, what does that tell you? There's going to be nothing with that type of description. So you know it's suspicious. And you can always, uh, you know, block something temporarily and then have a look at it and then, you know, accept that later on if it's a, an acceptable program once you've done your research or testing, you know. So let's take a look at uh, Serbia Ransom. Gonna fire this one up and there you go straight away preemptive jumps in it says hold on a second old jaws is don't want to install that on there do you want you sure you want to install this or not it gives you the choice now again this is going to come down I've actually named these exactly what they are but I mean you're going to get you're going to have to learn to use a whitelisted system and it's going to be down to user uh, either user error if you say allow it's going to infect your system so the program will do its job but you still have to have the final decision on whether to allow that onto the system or not and you can see here we're just going to block this one off and I'll remove these afterwards just doing this for my own safety here so I don't accidentally allow these to be whitelisted and uh, again we're going to try the ransom file locker give this a quick bash and there you can see here straight away it's blocked I'm gonna block this one as well and also we'll try uh, try one more of these and uh, just uh, let that fire up there we go that's now preemptive strike click OK here and we're gonna block let's get the yeah, I'm not sure if this is called CBT locker or CTB locker. I not, can't remember. I might have named that folder wrong. But anyway, so we're going to click on this one. And uh, we're going to block that file. Now, maybe I'm not sure whether I'd like allow or block uh, here. Maybe OK. Maybe I'd change that OK if it was me uh, to block. You know, make that red rather than green. Because green could be confused as, uh, you know, confuse and stuff allow I'm not so sure so maybe turn that red and make it block or allow there might be an easier thing for people to uh, digest you know rather than okay that's just my 
opinion, to be honest. Um, not that it counts for much, but hey, we'll just carry on here. So I'm just going to quickly try this other C T B locker, and you can see that's now preemptive strike has jumped in and blocked that one for us. We haven't left it as a whitelist. And you can see now we're getting a pattern build up here. I'm giving you a good, I'm giving this machine, this machine and this program a good workout here. It's it's done a fantastic job at blocking these on the system. Outstanding job. So let's take a look at the crypto locker. I've got one here for the time being. And I'm going to click on that, and you can see that's just blocked that straight away. And uh, we're going to jump straight in there and block this. Boom, like so. And we're going to do a crypto wall here. Let's do a crypto wall. We're going to do the old quotation. Good old quotation. And you can see that's there. And uh, let's see. We'll try one more of these. And there you go let's block that so you can see the power of these types of tools i mean these are going to keep your system safe i mean you use an antivirus with this uh, as well the reason why i'm not using an antivirus because it will detect these ransoms maybe and start causing havoc and delete them when i want to show you something so really uh if you put a good antivirus on here it's gonna do you good for the money it costs i mean it keeps your your data safe from uh, ransomware uh, we're going to try Locky here, the last one. Uh, we're going to do Locky, and then we're going to call this one done. But there you can see Locky. It says you are reading this message because you have opened a malicious file. For your safety, do not open unknown email attachments. And that's good advice, uh, but people seem to uh, do that. But you can see here, uh, look at the process here. It's here, and we close this off, and you can see it's disappeared and the reason why it's disappeared is because this program has blocked it so we're just going to quickly find it so I can show you if I can find it it's blocked it okay so there we have the uh, ransomware all blocked all different variants of different types and uh, all we need to do now is I can go through here I could have done this at the beginning it doesn't really matter uh, but we're just going to do it now. I'm going to remove this uh, data. So they remove from the list. And uh, you can see here, we're just going to quickly remove these. And there we go. Remove data. And remove data. Just quickly remove these. And you can see the whitelist area here. I just wanted to show you this bit here. Allowed by signature. Do not whitelist, whitelist. And this is if you want to whitelist stuff. But uh, basically that's that in a nutshell. So you can see we've got nothing running here. And uh, if you look at the uh, access history, you can see all your access history here. Okay. And that's pretty much it. A pretty good job from Win Anti Ransom Plus. So what I do is call this one done. I'm just going to close these off, these folders. I'm going to call this one done. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. And uh, if you want to purchase this, uh, I will put the link in the description. You can go ahead and purchase it. I don't get nothing out of it, so I don't think I'm in affiliate, affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. Um, so I'm not going to get anything if you uh, do that. I'm just promoting it because I think it's a good product and it did a great job at blocking those ransomwares. Anyway. I'm starting to ramble, so thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. If you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, you will get uh, notified when I upload those. And I try and do about three a week. Also, uh, if you've got any problems with your computers or video requests or anything like that, you can always uh, hit me up on the forums. Join over there. It's free to join. And also, if you've uh, not joined my Facebook fan page, then also you can head over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.